Welcome to the Backwoods Mechanic Channel. The one thing that everybody needs in order to do your job is a good pair of work boots. I don't care who you are, if you're in any type of field, you got your favorite pair of work boots, work shoes, whatever the case may be. But where I do a wide range of different repairs all the time between automotive, boat, industrial machines, heavy equipment, commercial equipment, I'm all over the place. And that requires me to have some pretty rugged boots. The problem is, every time I get a pair of boots, they wear out after a year. So for the past few years, every time a pair of boots wears out, I'll write down how long they lasted, what was good, what was bad about them, and then I would go on to the next name brand. And believe me, I've had a ton of different name brand boots. Pretty picky about the kind of boots that I get, and I get really pissed off if I spend a whole bunch of money and then the boots turn out to be junk. They turn out to wear in faster than expected, wear out faster than expected. All right, so the first pair that we got right here on top is Carhartt. Now, the reason that I decided to go with Carhartt, and I've procrastinated about Carhartt for a while i'm just the type of person before i spend a whole lot of money it has to be an extremely good deal going on on what i'm buying or i have to have some type of familiarity with the actual product that i'm purchasing and that's with tools or boots or anything like this and for the most part never i've had a wide range of different jackets over a long period of time once carhartt started coming into my life i've wore their carhartt jackets time and time again i wore them out which i'm someone who puts them through some really rugged tests the type of chemicals i'm around and the conditions that i work in from time to time working on industrial machines it's a little bit extreme so it's a wonder that the jackets that i've had and the toboggans and the gloves and stuff like that have lasted and stuff carhartt clothes are very comfortable I mean, they feel great. They work great for a whole lot of different people. Now, with Carhartt, because of their coats, I decided, you know, it'd be worth giving their boots a shot. And if they build these half as good as they build their coats, this might be something right up my alley. But Red Wing so far is top of my list. The best ones that I have wore to date. They've lasted the longest. They're the most comfortable. And it's just all around good. So it takes me a lot to pull the trigger on something like this as opposed to going back to Red Wing. Irish Setters are great. They're meant for hunting and you know, stuff like that. They're not really meant for working on 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, being on your feet all the time. I'm someone who's on my feet constantly doing all kinds of different stuff, so I'm hoping this Carhartt brand will give me some good results. If it does, I know a name brand that I will be buying. And I decided this years ago because I've been through at least 20 or 30 different name brand boots. And whenever they don't last a year, I'll never buy them again. If they last over a year to a year and a half, you can guarantee that I'm going to go back and continue to buy their product. Red Wing has definitely earned my business. We're going to be trying out some Carhartts too. Specific set that I got right here. 7 inch square toe Wellington. Farm to the rig. These are versatile oil tanned leather boots. Work as hard as you do. Steel toed electrical hazard. I do like the fact that they have an electrical hazard on it. Fast dry lining helps wick sweat and fights odors. Comfort cushion insole for support and reduced foot fatigue. Durable rubber outsole for grip traction flexibility with every step model number is cmp1218 and my specific size here is a 12 wide it's 1889 it tells you how to take care of your shoes and they'll take care of you you see here these are the ones that i picked up for heart name brand slap new they do feel good and when i tried them out put them on in the store today they're nice and comfortable these always look good now if you're going to wear something like this for dress boots it'll last you quite a while for someone who's a supervisor walking around and whatnot these are going to be good see the carhartt name there but this is the carhartts that i decided to pick out then we have justin it's just a coin toss on these i've heard name georgia boot carhartt thorough good red wings but justin just never really heard people in the trades talking about it whenever i put the boot on and tried it oh man did it feel good so feeling good is sometimes tricky i've learned that over the years i've wore things that felt good and then they were dead within just a few months this is style wk210412 ee Right, here's all the information on that description tobacco square steel toed so ortho light outso is vibram commander which is also what carhartt's made out of on the outside it exceeds the standards it's kind of like the asme standards but it's astm standards right here carhartt definitely goes into detail and tells you what you're getting into dustin brand does not apparently from the box in business since 1879 so around 
They just ain't uh, around in the trades as much around my area. I mean, you hear of Caterpillar and all kinds of other name brand boots, but I do like these. They do have the red, white, and blue design on them. They're kind of like the cowboy boot design, but without the actual cowboy toe on them. These have the nice big square toe. When I put my feet in these, I did have more wiggle room. They are larger than the Carhartt and a little bit more comfortable. Than more wiggle room. These are some pretty nice boots. We'll see how they hold up original justin work boot but i think these i'm going to have as my dress boots initially the car hearts are going to be my primary work boots hopefully they last a year year and a half if they do i'll be buying car heart again but whenever the car heart wears out i will turn these from dress boot into work boot and then they'll be going through phase two as i go into buying another name brand and i do believe the next name brand i choose is probably going to be the timberlake timberland whatever they call them just to try them out but you can help me out by commenting in the description box below if you're a boot person, you wear boots to work all the time. What is the most comfortable, most durable, longest lasting boot that you have ever had? And tell me what type of atmosphere have you had it in? Are you a mechanic, carpenter, plumber, electrician, whatever the case may be? Let me know in the description box below. That way I have a good idea on what your suggestion is. But these are the Irish setters that I was talking about. I've wore these right at two years now. And these were meant, when you look them up online and they talk about them, they tell you that they're meant to be hunting boots. Irish setter, red wing ultra dry waterproof i've seen the same exact ones down there earlier today these definitely held up better than other boots have in the past like i said other ones wore out in less than a year still toed they was waterproof they're still in great shape and really they're still comfortable to wear just got some holes going through the sides of them and stuff they're definitely a well-made boot this is the flame pair x element see there it's got flames all over it i've been wearing these the last couple months these ain't too bad i switched them from my dressy boots to basically work boots and then that was it they were toast already getting pretty comfortable and they're feeling really good now we just gotta see how long they last Still kicking. This is part two of this video. I literally have had these boots for right at a year now. Might as well finish up the review on this since I've got videos sitting around on the phone of me doing the unboxing. Now this is the Carhartt boot. These are the ones that I was going to take with me to work and I do a ton of different trades jobs. So I'm all over the place at any given time and I'm telling you what, the thing that can go through the type of stuff I put it through in a year's time is definitely going to be a pretty decent boot. I go in and out of these industrial factories all the time. Sometimes I'll be involved in cleaning up dry cleaning solvent be all over the place. The gas alone in that petroleum stuff, let me tell you, it'll eat these boots up. And these have held up pretty good so far. Now the ones that have held up and been the most comfortable up to this moment in time has been the Red Wings, the Irish Setters. So there might be one of these days where I invest in the higher end Red Wing boots and see how they go, but I'm trying to find a nice, reasonable boot. And for the type of work I do, none of the cheap ones are gonna work. I have went through just about every single name brand you can imagine. Had Dingoes and Rockies. The Rockies was the most shocking of the bunch because they didn't last eight months and they were tore all to pieces. Big downside with Rockies, so highly don't recommend those. If it comes down to it though, these right here from Carhartt have been pretty good. They're starting to hurt my feet a little bit, so I'm going to end up getting some new soles on the inside of them. Maybe that'll stretch the lifetime of the boot itself. But now I'll tell you, the outside, I've been all over the place. I've been on roofs, under different flooring of different places, leveling up floors. I've installed machines. I've had machines dropped on my foot. I've been around welding. I mean, you name it, and I've done it. been around masonry stuff, like I said, the dry cleaning stuff. And all in all, these things haven't been entirely too bad, but they are losing their comfort to them. So I get me some new soles. We'll try to stretch them out. That's the whole point of doing some reviews because I know there's a whole lot of people out here who absolutely enjoy wearing boots instead of tennis shoes. And I've always been one of those guys. My initial intentions was to wear these boots until they wore out. And then I was going to take the Justin boots that I picked up and rotate them in. And I was going to do that so that I could get a good feeling on each type of boot style. And then after I wear the Justin boots out, I wanted to do things that way, essentially. So if I wore the car hearts out, I'd start 
start wearing the Justin and from the day that I started wearing them to the day they wore out, I'd be able to get a good average on how long they'll last given the type of work it is that I'm doing. Of course, would buy different name brands afterwards. I want to buy a name brand that I have never had before and I went through all of them. Whenever it comes to the Carhartts here, I gotta say, they are some pretty decent quality boots for them to last as long as they have in comparison to other boots that I have wore. I can always gauge how well they're going to last depending on wear and tear after a year. At the year mark is usually whenever I'm throwing them out, getting a new set of boots, and that just... You know, it sucks. You shouldn't have to buy boots every single year when they're two or $300 a pair. These Carhartts, you've done pretty good. They're at least right up there where the Red Wings are. They're pretty close. Not in comfort after a year, but as far as wear and tear, they're still pretty daggone good. And you can tell that these things have been through the ringer. I mean, I beat them, banged them, kicked them. I've stuck them in places they probably should have never been stuck. And for what they are... Yeah, I would say go for it. If you want your good set of Carhartts, these will hold up to a lot of different work. Anybody who's messing with uh, different machines and equipment, you're in industrial service tech, you're out here working on heavy machines and equipment, you know, the heavy wrench would probably know exactly what I'm talking about. Boots are essential for what you're doing in that type of work. You never know what type of environment you're going to be in, whether you're going to be knee high in mud or not, you know. So, it is what it is. But I'm going to keep wearing these, and then eventually I'll give an update if I ever switch them out with the Justins and start wearing those, and we will come back and revisit this. But that's something you don't see that much of on YouTube, people doing reviews from a real-world wear and tear, and that's what we're doing here today. So, if you core hearts, you got some pretty good quality boots, and we'll get me some new soles for these, and we're going to see how long they can last compared to the Red Wings. And I tell you what, it's looking pretty good.